Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, we are going to see how to expand Grok AI images. If you are familiar with Grok AI, the images that are generated using that AI are in certain aspect ratio. You can't expand or contract that aspect ratio. But in this video, we are going to see how to change the aspect ratio of Grok AI images. So let's get started. So go to Grok AI and generate one image. I'm going to generate one image using the prompt draw me a cat as a king. So these are the four different results and all the results are in same aspect ratio. You can't change the aspect ratio of Grok A images inside Grok, but you can use different websites to change those aspect ratio. So I'm going to download one image from here to show you how to do that. So I'm going to download this image I kind of like this one so click on the three dots and click on save image and make note of that image property the dimensions are 1024 by 768 pixels so 1024 is a width and 768 is the height now go to tensor art I drop a link in the description using this link you can get additional 50 credits while signing up after signing up go to this link I also drop this link in the description this is the flux one fill out paint so using this we can out paint our image so it is created by this user and you need to drop in your image over here so you need to click or drag your file to this area to upload we need to add the values of these uh, boxes so this is the image longest side before padding so which means we need to insert the value of the longest side before padding that is 1024 you can see the longest side is 1024 so uh, i insert that value then the padding top padding bottom padding left and padding right which means how many pixels we need to expand on top bottom left and right so you need to input those values if you want to convert this image into portrait you need to input these values padding top should be 576 bottom should be 576 left 28 and right is also 28 if you want to change it to any other aspect ratio like square you need to do the math and put the values over here so for the prompt i'm gonna leave it as background or you can type in the prompt i'm gonna leave it as it is as background and i'm gonna click on go to proceed and after some time you can see the result over this result tab click on that you can see the result so you can see it is converted to portrait if you don't like this you can again generate one using different prompt and also with different padding values so this is the first method of out painting using flux and i'm going to show you the second method so go to the hugging face sign up your email then search for flux out paint and select flux fill out paint so here you need to drop that image and the prompt is optional you can type in the prompt or you can proceed without typing prompt then you can change the image ratio of your wish i'm gonna go with the uh, portrait and you can change the alignment over here if you want the alignment in the middle you can select middle uh, if you want it on the top you can do that as well and if you want to resize this input image you can do that as well right now it is in 74 percent you can also do the custom i'm gonna give the 90 and in the advanced settings you can also change the target width and height uh, manually and steps 28 i'm gonna leave it as it is and mask overlap means i'm gonna show you that right now is in 10 so if we click preview alignment and mask and go over here and drop down this you can see this red area is called mask overlap so if we reduce this value means i'm gonna choose four and click on preview alignment and mask you can see it is reduced to something like this and mask overlap means while uh, out painting these areas also also got out paint if you don't want that mask overlap you can make it to zero or one uh, minimum value is one i'm not going to recommend that 
I'm going to recommend the 4% mask overlap value. You can also mask overlap only top, left, uh, right or bottom. I'm going to select all these and you can see the alignment. You can do the top, bottom alignment as well. If we click on top means the image will move to the top and remaining areas are outpainted by the flux AA. I'm going to choose the middle alignment for the prompt. You can type in the prompt or you can proceed without typing the prompt. I'm going to proceed without typing the prompt. Click on generate and it will take some time and you can see the result. So this one is also looking great. So that's it. This is how we can change aspect ratio of Grok A images. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more future tutorials. Also press the bell icon so that you can get instant notification when I upload a video. Thanks for watching and bye.